Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. Hi traders, Anthony here. If you have a look at last week's videos that I did on the US 100, I uploaded a few to uh, TradingView here. And in every one of these videos, I was talking about this thin leg through here. The whole thing was about this trading back through this imbalance, looking to fill the gap. Look where we are at the moment. Job done. So we also have now created another uh, bullish imbalance here. If I just remove the drawings. Today's Monday and you're going to find the market. Monday's is not the best trading day. Let me just uh, mark up. The weekly open and I think this is something that you should do on every chart you're looking at no matter what day it is just make sure you go in and we opened here mark up your weekly open and then watch where the market trades in relation to this and you're going to find Mondays I call it manipulation Monday you're going to find that on Mondays the market will definitely seek liquidity and it can tend to wick in the opposite direction to where it uh, where it might trade for the week. It's wicked up in here already and whether it wicks up again today I don't know but um, it's going to look for uh, buy side liquidity above here and now we've got a significant price gap sitting right here. My question is do we see this trade back down to fill this gap so do we get a short week? So if we do, then there's going to be uh, yen pair opportunities. That would be uh, something I'd be looking for. If we see the stock market sell off, we could see strength come into the uh, the yen. Swissy. Swissy's already pretty strong at the moment. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's a thing. Keep that in mind that we could look to trade back down through the week. Whether it does or doesn't, we don't know yet. It's just something to be mindful of, you know, that that could be a thing. I'm always going to go down to the lower time frame to look for my opportunities regardless. So, you know, I'm not going to assume that this is trading short for the week at all. From here, I'll go to a four hour chart, work my way down and just see how this shapes up. Now we've got over here, this range through here, I just marked that up. All right, that's a key level right here. Does it tap into that? That's the question. And we do have still this thin leg here on the four hour chart. Still a bit of uh, a price gap through here. And we've got this balance area above. Do we spike up into here? Something to, to um, consider. So we'll just call that four hour resistance there. What else have we got? If we look and, and look, see, there it is here again. Could pull that through. I won't, but that, that's your uh, distribution level through here, more or less. Uh, what else have we got here? Yeah, I mean, look, it's been revisited a few times. So that's a, that's a key level right there. And you got this level back here as well. OK, so we've traded through this and now we're just messing around up in here. Where to from here? Well, I mean, go down to the 30 minute and I mean, from here, I'll I'll, uh, I'll go down to the lower time frame. So the sort of thing that I'll be looking for will be just to see where it settles. And if we start to see it range, let me just grab a uh, 15 minute chart. Well, at the moment, I would draw this up. We're ranging through here at, at this point. Keep an eye on it. Does it keep wicking up and down through this level? What I want to see is any sign of... I mean, at the moment, this is a, a no-go zone. I wouldn't trade that in either direction. Let me just show you something. What I'll be looking for, and it's generally going to be when it trades into like a resistance level like this, the kind of price action I'm interested in will be if this messes around in here, all right, and then we get relative equal highs set up, so we get a double top or a triple top, then watch out because if smart money is going to trade this short, generally what we'll see happen is something like they're going to they're going to want to entice short traders in. I mean, just hypothetically speaking at the moment. So, you know, you might see it trade down. You'll see a lot of traders will dive in here short. And what they'll be doing is creating a liquidity pool above here 
when it's ranging, when you see the market, like if it, you know, it's sort of kind of doing that at the moment, continues through here, this liquidity will build and smart money, if they, if they want to short it with the kind of, well, with the amount of capital that they have to participate in the markets, they can't just decide, you know, okay, boys, <laughs> let's just short the market. They have to have buy side liquidity. So that, that'll, that'll set up here if this continues to range. And then the kind of thing I'm looking for then is a liquidity sweep. And then you start to see the market do this. Then I'll be looking for where you see lower high, lower lows, lower highs setting up. I like to get in early actually. So I'd be looking for this set up pretty quickly. Let's say we get a thin candle through here, that kind of thing. Uh, it wicks up, wicks through this. All right, this is something you'll see to over and over again if you go back through the charts. And then we get a, maybe a retest of the low over here. So I'm aggressive, I'll get in there. And if you're conservative, wait for the retest of the low and th there's a short. You've got to wait for the setup. I mean, whether this sets up or not, we don't know yet. But this is the kind of price action I want to see. I want to see it, I want to see it wick down first. That'll give me an indication that that's most likely going to be the direction it's going to head. And then you'll see it tap up into liquidity above the range. So keep an eye on that at the moment. As I said, it's a no-go zone, nothing happening. It's just kind of grinding up here. Monday, I, I would expect to see this definitely uh, do a bit of a liquidity run on Monday against the trend that it's going to trade and then Tuesday we'll see the trend set up and then we could jump in early on Tuesday and ride that for the rest of the week. So that's the kind of thing that I'm, I'm interested in. So I mean that more or less wraps it up guys. I've got uh, links below. Click them. Check my profile out. Do all that sort of stuff. I hope you have a great day. Safe trading and I'll see you in the next video.